Before we visit Scotland, don't forget to subscribe to World Travel Guide, and ring the bell to get notified about the latest videos. Loch Lomond is a freshwater Scottish loch, which crosses the Highland Boundary Fault, often considered the boundary between the lowlands of central Scotland and the Highlands. The loch is 36 kilometers long, up to 8 kilometers wide, 200 meters deep and has a surface area of 71 square kilometers. The basin in which it lies was carved out by glaciers at the end of the last ice age, around 10,000 years ago. It is classified as a ribbon lake, because it is long and narrow in shape. Loch Lomond is the largest lake by surface area in Great Britain, and the second largest lake by volume, after Loch Ness. In fact, Loch Lomond and Loch Ness, together with Loch Saw, Morar and Shiel, hold around a third of all the lake water in Scotland. The loch lies on the Highland Boundary Fault, a major fault zone in the Earth's crust, which separates two very different types of terrain in Scotland. The highlands to the north and the lowlands to the south. It is a place of great scientific interest, studied by geologists from all over the world. The waters of Loch Lomond contain 22 islands and 27 islets. The lake is surrounded by majestic mountains and monroes, the most famous of which is Ben Lomond, at a height of 974 meters. This is one of the most popular climbs in Scotland, with over 30,000 people reaching the summit each year. Today, the loch forms part of Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park. The Scottish Parliament established the park in 2002, as a protected area for conservation. It encompasses around 1,865 square kilometres of some of the most breathtaking scenery in Scotland. Loch Lomond is extremely popular with tourists to this day. It is easy to reach from major cities such as Edinburgh and Glasgow. With a rich history, stunning scenery, wildlife and nature, it has everything you need for a special Scottish break. Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park is open year-round. Loch Lomond is fabulous in summer, with a wealth of activities and beautiful nature to enjoy. If you prefer a quieter visit to the area, spring and autumn are good times to visit too. In spring you can enjoy the blooming wildflowers, and in autumn you can enjoy all the autumn colors along the shoreline. Did you ever visit Loch Lomond? Leave a comment and let us know.